should I drop my prices if my client says my prices are too high? That's the question that we're gonna tackle today on the Handyman Journey Business YouTube channel. So let's hop into it. All right, friends, my name is Alan Lee and I own and operate the Handyman Journey, a coaching and consulting business where I help people just like you, people starting their handyman business, people that have been in their handyman business for years, get to the next level. So that's what we're here today. And we are taking a question right out of the Handyman Pricing Handbook. This question is from Brad Repka in Texas. He asks, will you drop your prices if a client thinks they are too high? Man, I love this question because it is so pertinent. Everybody has dealt with this at one time or another. I think that's what makes it so pertinent to the Handyman industry is everyone has dealt with a client that says, hey, your prices are insane, your prices are too high, what can you do for me, can you lower them? Well, I got this saying that you do not wanna negotiate because at the end of the day, you lose anyway. There's really no point in negotiating with things like this because at the end of the day, you end up losing. Nine times out of 10 that I've negotiated with a client and dropped my prices, uh, things have not turned out well. Things have gone south on the job, the materials were incorrect, blah, 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 and I end up we're the ones that end up losing as handymen, as the business people, we end up losing at the end of the day. Most of the time when you get people that want to negotiate price, they say, oh, I got, all the, I got all the materials, this job is so easy, the Boy Scouts could do it, right? They have all these excuses under the book that make you think, ah, oh, maybe I could just go in there and just, you know, throw some nails in there and we'll be, we'll be off to lunch before you know it, right? Now, that's nonsense. That's not how it's gonna go, believe me. Uh, usually when those things happen, things end up going south. So, short answer is no, I do not lower my prices. Long answer is we try our hardest to make our prices as competitive as possible. But at the end of the day, your prices have to be what they have to be. As we talk about a lot in the Handyman Pricing Handbook is everyone has expenses, right? It costs money every single minute you have your business open. And so that those expenses need to be paid for or you're gonna go out of business. So you have to charge what you have to charge per hour in your handyman business to actually make some money or you're not gonna be around to help anyone out. So you could go around giving a bunch of people discounts, but in a month, you're not gonna be around at all to give anyone a discount, especially yourself. You're gonna be working at the Costco tire changer or something like that. So you need to charge what you need to charge, but it is extremely hard, believe me, and you've done it too, is you have that mental game that goes on, right? When someone calls you up and they're like, ah, oh, you know, like, uh, can you do it for like 300 bucks? And you're like, oh, you know, that, it's that mental game that's going on. But at the end of the day, you need to stand firm with your prices. And the best way to do that, like I said, is to go through the formula in the Handyman Pricing Handbook to actually figure out what your pricing needs to be. And then once you know why your pricing needs to be what it is, because you've done the formula, you actually have that in your brain and you're like, I can't go lower than this. If I go lower than this, I'm taking food out of my son's mouth and I can't do that, right? Um, and at the end of the day, we want, to, we want to bring in clients that respect that. We want to bring in clients that respect us, respect our family, and ultimately respect our pricing because we respect them, we respect, th we respect their families, and we respect their income. Right? That's why we try and do our best to make our hourly rate as competitive as possible, um, but it is what it is. Pricing is pricing. It's not, business, it's not personal, it's business. At the end of the day, you have to charge what you have to charge. So, great question by Brad. Thank you so much for that question. You can check out a bunch more questions as well as the formula in the Handyman Pricing Handbook. You can get this puppy on Amazon. I would highly recommend it. I might be a little biased because I wrote it, but uh, the reviews speak for themselves. At least go on Amazon, check out the reviews of the book, and let me know what you think. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this video, on this topic. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and also like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.